It's 2022, and the smartphone has been around for the better part of 15 years. Our culture, our society, the whole world is shaped by this one device. I know that I use my smartphone for everything, from a camera, to a calculator, to a high-octane guitar. So why would I want to give something this innovative up? Because this is what the average American days look like. The average American will spend over a sixth of their life on their smartphone, leaving very little time after work and sleep to hang out with friends, family, and loved ones. The idea of this challenge was simple, to take back my time away from my phone. I wanted to see if a simple change going from a device like this to a device like this would be simple enough to completely curb my smartphone usage habit and maybe my technology addiction and become significantly happier, more productive, and overall just a better person. And after a week of using this phone, I think I know the answer. So it's pretty early in the morning of day one and I feel like this is already the greatest thing ever. I think this is gonna solve world peace. I think that everybody should own a flip phone. But seriously, it was so nice waking up. And even if I had text messages, I didn't really want to respond to them because it takes so long to text. And it's been really great so far. I'm gonna see, I'm excited to see how the rest of the day goes. It's pretty early so far with it. And I feel like this could potentially be a game changing thing for me. Because in the morning, I went to grab my phone and <laughs> watch some YouTube. And I couldn't because you cannot watch YouTube on this phone. I'm nearing the end of the first day here. I'm just getting some YouTube editing done here on the laptop and so far, it's been brilliant. This thing has been awesome. I missed the camera. There were a few moments with my dogs that were super cute and I couldn't take a picture of them. But while I'm working here, there has not been any distraction. It's just working because no text messages come through on the MacBook from my iPhone. There's no ping, there's no buzzing. This thing just, it goes off. And honestly, most of the time I see a text message, I'm not really interested in responding because I can't stand messaging. A weird thing with the group messaging is it, it sends as an individual text message. So I, I wonder if there's like a fix for that. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit, but the end of day one, it's been awesome. I, I've really enjoyed it. After it's all said and done, I would say that day one was a complete success and I would give it an eight out of 10, would definitely try again. So it is day two and this is one of the first big roadblocks besides the camera and the group messaging. Googling stuff. <laughs> I guess I didn't really have to Google anything yesterday, uh, or if I did, my wife just did it, but I'm down here working on the mining rigs and <laughs> I have to keep going back to my computer in the other room in my office, like my desktop computer, to go Google something to see if I can figure out the answer, to go then come back here and check this out. This has been a complete pain in the butt. Uh, this is the first time this thing's really felt completely unable to do the job and i guess that's to be expected obviously this isn't really a smartphone it's just sort of a phone phone but <laughs> it's kind of frustrating having this is a big inconvenience i'm not going to lie this might just have to wait until after this whole thing is done day two was a little bit worse because of the googling problem but still ultimately i was off my phone six out of ten run today ever since it's day three ever since I got this flip phone I just feel like a lot more compelled to do different types of things and I feel like it's been a lot healthier for me I've been I've been running a lot more this is the second or third time this week I ran I can just enjoy my feet hitting the pavement and running the whole time it really clears my mind I do kind of wish that I could listen to music and listen to a podcast occasionally. There's no outside distractions. And while sometimes those outside distractions are nice, while I've been running, it's been really great. I feel like I have a bunch of new YouTube ideas and videos that I want to film in the future. This lack of smartphone has been, it's been incredible. There's like a very minimalist feeling about it, which is no surprise to me that I like it. Uh, very digitally minimalist, <laughs> like Cal Newport's book. It's been, it's been incredible. There are obviously some negatives with the group chats, uh, receiving pictures, sending pictures. I think I've missed a few phone calls. But other than that, it is like this weird weight lifted off my shoulder knowing that when I get back to the car, 
I don't even want to have text messages because I hate responding to text messages right now. So I'm gonna go finish this run and enjoy the rest of this beautiful day off my phone. Day three was pretty good, but the flip phone was starting to show a lot of troubles. I started resorting to using my computer a lot more. Five out of 10. And day four was very similar to day three. I felt good about not using my phone, but I relied on the laptop a little bit too much. Five out of 10. One thing I've noticed with the new smartphone situation, or should I say dumb phone situation, um, is that I'm, I don't really care leaving it in my car going for a run because nobody's going to steal it. Nobody's gonna steal a $30 phone and somebody would definitely steal a thousand dollar iPhone. <laughs> a few months ago, I listened to Cal Newport's book, Digital Minimalism, which helps you minimize your internet activity, much like a lot of us have minimized our homes. My favorite quote from the book is, digital minimalism is a philosophy of technology use in which you focus your online time on a small number of carefully selected and optimized activities that strongly support things you value and then happily miss out on everything else. There's also this looming feeling that I was missing a call or I was going to miss a voicemail or I was gonna miss an email or a text message because I just couldn't feel like I could rely on this thing, which was a positive sometimes because there was nothing really to look forward to when I opened my phone up, but it's a negative when you are looking forward to a call or a voicemail or a text message or an email from something that's pretty important to you. I will say though that my productivity was going through the roof. I went on a five mile run and a seven mile run. I was doing, making more YouTube videos. I was cleaning up around the house. I was generally more engaged with everything, whether it was hanging out with my wife or hanging out with the dogs, whatever it may have been. I was there, I was engaged. I wasn't always waiting for a new text message. And most people didn't like texting me because it's impossible to text on this phone and it takes forever to send very basic messages. As I continued, I realized that society is built around smartphones. Another problem I'm having is that when I go to Chipotle, I can't use this for the Chipotle rewards. It's simple things like this that definitely start to add up as you go through your day. You realize there are a lot of things like Chipotle rewards that you need to be able to either get your rewards or just be able to live you know, within modern society. As the weekend came to a close, the constant feeling of not having to check my phone was excellent, but it started to be replaced by the overwhelming dread that I was missing texts and calls and voicemails and potentially emails. And then Monday morning happened. Okay, so it's it's Monday morning and I just came down here to shoot this because my camera wasn't upstairs. Um, so I was expecting a couple of phone calls this, this last week before the weekend and I just assumed that they were coming on Monday or you know maybe early sometime this week. And it turns out that they all came last week and I didn't get the notifications for some reason that I had a voicemail or maybe I, I had the notification, I didn't really realize it. So I had to just go back and access my voicemail. I didn't really even know how to do it, so I had to look that up. I had to call my own phone number, type in my PIN, just like the, just like the old days, and then I could access my voicemails. So I'm pretty frustrated about that. This, like, this wasn't supposed to affect my life at all. I thought it would be a positive, not potentially <laughs> cost me money. So at this point, I just think it's not really worth it to continue. It was a really fun challenge, but I just can't keep going at this point. So I'm going to, I'm going to phone it in and I'm going to phone it in and uh, call it here six days in um, and I'll give you my final thoughts. It was at this point that I realized I just couldn't risk missing a phone call or missing any emails or voicemails because I'm in a position right now where I have to be constantly checking my voicemails for missed calls and for emails. What I learned from using the flip phone is I need to make sure I'm more engaged. I need to get off my smartphone. I can't develop an itch. I have to be able to put my smartphone down and walk away for an hour or two hours or three hours. And I don't need to always have it on me at all times. I lived perfectly fine with just a flip phone. So if you need to leave and go for a run or you're taking your car and go getting groceries, you don't need your phone on you all the time. But what I also learned is that we as consumers chose smartphones. Apple and all the other Android companies gave us the choice and we selected smartphones as the main way that we wanna communicate with each other. So the world was constructed around a smartphone. We, the consumers, are the ones who created this monster. And to be able to step outside of that is almost impossible. It's not impossible but it feels like it's almost impossible. But I do feel like I got rid of the tech itch. It's been a few days now since I swapped SIM cards and I know I feel myself not on it so much, making sure that I'm not using it when my wife is around. 
I do feel like this has helped a lot. And I feel like there is a perfect middle ground between having a smartphone that can keep up with modern times, but as uninviting as this one. So I purchased an iPhone 5S, and this is going to be my very next challenge. I look forward to the video on that, and I look forward to using this phone for the next week. And I hope you guys will stick around for that video. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Go for a run, get off your phone, and have fun, and don't do drugs, and stay in school. Unless school is not for you, then don't stay in school. Peace out.